Hi everybody, you're used to seeing me at City Hall when we do these videos, but this time it's Friday night, 7 p.m. Just got finished clapping and saluting the amazing healthcare workers at the Queens Hospital Center. So uh, you're seeing this Saturday morning, but right now uh, I got to do something which is such an honor, which is to salute these heroes and to thank them for the amazing work they have done. And speaking of amazing, people in New York City keep sending amazing questions, so let me answer some now. Susie sends a question, this is on a lot of people's minds. She says, where are the antibody tests actually occurring? She says, Upper Manhattan is a big place. Susie, you are right. So first of all, the antibody tests are important. They give you really valuable information. They tell you if you've been exposed to this disease before and you've beaten it, that's something people really want to know. So we're providing 140,000 tests to everyday New Yorkers and 140,000 additional tests to first responders over the course of the next few weeks. So you put that together, over a quarter million New Yorkers will get the antibody tests for free in the next few weeks in our city. Now, in Manhattan, talking about Upper Manhattan, the Manhattanville Clinic, 21 Old Broadway, is now open seven days a week. And sites are being established in every borough, more and more sites to find one near you. The antibody sites are by appointment only. I want to remind people that appointment only. Go to nyc.gov slash antibody survey and you can sign up. Now, another question about antibodies from Nikki. Nikki says, how accurate are the antibody tests done by the company BioReference? And why was that company chosen? It is a really important question, Nikki, because we really worked hard to make sure we would get very accurate, high quality tests. And there's a lot of different antibody tests out there. We wanted to make sure it was one we could really depend on. So why BioReference, one of the largest testing companies in America, they do a lot of work in New York City. We know their track record. We were particularly focused on the fact that they can work on a huge scale. They've been our partners already with so much of the testing done by our public hospitals, including right here at Queens Hospital. So we have a track record with them and they use a test that is particularly accurate. We believe in it, in fact, 99.8% accurate. So that's why we are working with BioReference. That's why you can have faith in those tests. Final question from Catherine in Manhattan. Wow, Catherine, you are hitting the nail on the head with this question because people need to know this. She says, please open the restrooms in Central Park. Since no stores are open, no restrooms are available. And she says further, perhaps you can reopen coffee shops and bookstores with the same protocols as groceries. Well, first of all, Catherine, very important topic, but I want to inform you that of the 16 restaurants that are normally, excuse me, 16 restrooms that are normally open in Central Park, 10 of them are still open. So most of the restrooms in Central Park remain open and will remain open. So first of all, for all New Yorkers going out to enjoy our parks, know that restrooms will be there for you. But you know, the other point about opening up businesses, uh, Catherine, look, we want to open as many businesses as possible, but it's going to be done on the basis of health and safety first. We're going to do it slowly and cautiously. Not slowly for the sake of being slow, but to make sure people are safe and we do it right and we don't have that boomerang with the disease reasserts. But you will see, hopefully as early as June, some businesses start to open up. That'll mean more options for everyone, more people working again, thank God, and you'll see more restrooms open. But it's going to be in stages. We're going to do it careful because the number one thing is to keep all New Yorkers safe. So everyone, thank you for the great, great questions. Please remember, whenever you see one of our healthcare heroes, please thank them for all they have done for us, and please keep sending your wonderful questions, and I'll keep giving you answers.